This review is of Consul Daily Psyllium Fiber, simply one ingredient made from um, nature, 100% all natural, vegan, non GMO, sugar free, and gluten free. Um, so, the blurb and instructions, and here are the supplement facts. Cause and the ingredients are just powdered psyllium husks manufactured for con uh, console pharmaceuticals by some company in India. And okay, so first of all, you may be wondering why eat f fiber? Well, when I was a young man, I used to have a really not good diet, too much processed foods, too much meat, not enough fruits and vegetables. And so I had a lot of constipation, a lot of, and the constipation led me to, and this started, you know, and I don't really understand why I started when I was a kid. I don't think, I think maybe I just wasn't drinking enough water as a kid because my mom made a lot of stuff from scratch as well as a lot of, there was a lot of processed food as well. Um, but I think the problem was, is there just wasn't enough fiber in my diet. And so I ended up with constipation and nobody told me don't push too hard when you're on the toilet. Um, and so I started having hemorrhoids as a child. Um, and as a, an adult, I finally found out that fiber can relieve that. So I started buying uh, fiber and uh, using it and it, that definitely made a massive difference. Um, as long as I consumed fiber on a regular basis and I was already at that point, by that point drinking a lot more water. Um, I was able to stop the constipation, which gave my um, hemorrhoids the chance to heal. And so that was great. But there is another benefit or use, I guess I should say, of using fiber. Now, I've never seen anything other than psyllium fiber in the store. Um, but I do now see chicory root fiber being used as a fiber source in um, processed foods. So you might wanna, I don't know if that's something that's easy to find in the store and I, I haven't looked yet. Um, but the other thing that I've recently discovered and I just tested it myself yesterday using this product is that if I have um, for quite a few years now, um, if I, consume something that releases a, a spike of sugar into my blood I ended up I end up having that crash where I feel very sleepy for a, a while and um, that's been problematic for me because you know my mood is altered my thinking is fuzzy um, and I'm, I'm sluggish and I can't enjoy things very well so I um, had heard it suggested that fiber could help to counteract that uh, very, I learned this this year along with all the other studying I've done I came across that and then just earlier this week I came across a video where a lady um, and her friend who is some kind of a fitness guru uh, um, I forgot the name of the fitness company that she has um, but I, this lady and her friend they did this little test and um, they got a big vegan shake each and consumed all or most of it and they had a CGM that monitored their uh, their blood sugar levels and both of them had pretty high readings and then they did it again, but they, before they started on the shake, they had a cup of fiber. And so they, you know, they showed us, they showed us, you know, drinking up the, the fiber and then drinking the shakes. And the results with the fiber demonstrated that uh, this will do this pretty much the same thing in terms of... Um, lengthening kind of flattening the curve kind of thing because if you have a high glycemic index food like a shake or um, a bunch of uh, candy bar or something like that you get a spike of sugar shoom, 
shoom. And then it, when it goes down, then that's when you start to feel like you have a foggy brain and your emotions are off and um, you feel tired. You just want to lie down and take a nap. That's, that's, a, that's the sugar syndrome that happens often after you get together for a big meal with your family or friends or whoever um, during the holidays. But if you have uh, a sugar source that is like um, fruit or vegetables and it's natural and you're just consuming a large amount of it, the same thing won't happen. And the reason is because of the fiber, both soluble and insoluble, um, even cellulose for that matter. Um, it can, um, what it does is it interferes with the absorption of sugar, which is a good thing. It's a good thing. And so instead of getting this massive spike of sugar that you get uh, from a processed food, since it's, it's got all that fiber and stuff in it, you'll get a low and very long lasting distribution of the sugar. So, and that's what her experiment with her friend demonstrated was that she did not get a sugar spike. She didn't get sleepy. She didn't have foggy brain or anything like that. It worked it worked wonderfully. So yesterday, um, I experimented with this a couple of times. Um, I, I First of all, I um, had to take my kids to the dentist. And before I took my kids to the dentist, I ate a bunch of chocolate. And then I was like, oh my God, I do not want to spend the next several hours with that, that fogginess and, and, and sleepiness and stuff. So I took a cup of this stuff and mixed it up and drank it down immediately. Now, you can, you, if you're gonna drink enough, you can certainly do what I did and drink it down immediately before the uh, fiber has had a chance to absorb liquid. Um, however, you can also wait and it will thicken. It will, it's kind of like once it thickens, and some brands will sweeten theirs and flavor theirs and stuff. This one doesn't do that. So when I drank it, when it was still before it was thickened, um, it tasted like um, kind of like kind of like an unsweetened tea. Um, and the texture, as you know, it's a little bit grainy. And then once I was, um, it had absorbed a lot of the milk or milk, a lot of the, the liquid that was in the cup, it became, if you can imagine if you take uh, gelatin or agar agar um, or uh, pectin and it's all, you know, it's you've let it set and then you stir it all up very, very vigorously so it's all broken up. That's kind of what the texture is like with this. So what I'm doing right now is I'm I'm mixing it up with uh, the water, and as you can see, it produces a, a dark color um, in the, the water, and that, that fiber is absorbing all of the liquid in my cup, so if you wait a few minutes, you'll get this thick beverage. It has a mild flavor. It's not offensive, um, and I'm glad that I've got this brand because... Yeah, it's expensive, but at the same time, I know it's only one ingredient. And that's great because minimal processing is important. So anyways, I drank this before it had a time to absorb the water because I had to leave right away to get them to their appointment. And um, I noticed that because I had had the fiber after the chocolate was in my body, some of the chocolate having been in my body for several minutes, um, I noticed that I still did have something of a spike, but it was a much, much smaller spike. And the, if the after effects of that spike were very minimal compared to, say, yes, the day before yesterday when, and the day before that when I had had big sugar spikes that had affected me for hours. So this was just, you know, like a very, very brief thing. Um, and then later yesterday, I was I just, I'm, I was going to have some stuff with that had sugar in it. And I thought, well, I'm going to consume this first. So that's exactly what I did. I had a cup of this fiber, and then I um, had that sugar-heavy food. 
and I had zero problems. So if you're gonna use this to fight sugar spiking, like if you're gonna have an apple pie, or you're gonna have a, a big, big meal like oh, that's got lots of different stuff like cranberry sauce and, and whatnot, um, have the fiber drink first. Now that'll also give you the benefit because this is um, because this stuff is thick and absorbs liquid. You also will it will also take up some of the space in your stomach, and it'll, that'll make mean you eat less. So if you're you know that's another temporary you know a short term benefit I guess you could say because you know eventually it passes out of your out of your stomach, but it it can help to decrease the amount of food you eat. Now if you drink this down right away. And then add more more water. It'll take up even more space and slow down your ability to eat, um, and thus get. Oh my gosh, this video is so much longer than I wanted it to be. But I want. I really wanted you to understand that fiber is is something that's really good for you. Um, and I've tested it out after having seen that video, and I can affirm that if you have fiber, especially before the simple sugar source. It's definitely going to prevent, I mean, unless you go like totally gonzo and, and heat massive amounts of sugar uh, way beyond the norm. Um, in that case, yeah, you're still screwed, but this helps to stop that sugar spike. So it turns a high glycemic index, high glycemic load food into a high glycemic index, low glycemic load food. So I'm going to have this now already thickened up and yes it does taste like unsweetened tea can you put hot water in here yes you can it only took a minute or two for the psyllium husks to absorb lots of liquid So that's it for me. I mean, that was that was pretty nice. And now I'm going to go on to the uh, other, <laughs> the more selfish reason that I decided to review this today. And that is I'm going to have some scones. And of course, you know, um, they have got a bit of sugar in them, about 16 grams of added sugars, plus a couple more grams of naturally occurring sugars. So, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Oh, and uh, this stuff works wonderfully. It doesn't taste bad. It doesn't have all that extra sugar and stuff in it. So, uh, you know, it doesn't, you know, taste-wise, I guess I'll give it a 7, um, but it's great stuff.